Guys are able to see my screen online people. Okay, thank you. Batch seven, right? So in the last class, we discussed about uh, the naming, what about that, uh, different, different, uh, what about that, uh, names, right? The relationship, uh, one, two, many, many, two, one, and uh, junction object, uh, and uh, how to achieve the many, two, many relationship, why is it not a junction object, right? And uh, after that, record types, right? Why we are using record types? Why, right, guys? So if the the same data in the different categories. For example, you need to capture the patient information. For example, uh, other example in the student management system, guys. So one college is there. Within the college, so there is so many categories are there. For example, we need to capture the student information. So we are creating one object. Okay, so we need to capture student information that object is suitable. Then we need to capture the faculty information. Student and faculty, almost first name, last name, email IDs, phone number, all fields are common. But student having, he belongs to which branch? He belongs to which, uh, what about that, uh, um, first year or second year or something, right? Faculty related, what about his designation, what about the experience, understand? So that means out of, for example, out of 100 percentage, 70 percent of the fields are common for student and faculty. Same like, uh, um, uh, what about that, uh, student, lab assistant. Lab assistant also, first name, last name, email, all are common. But lab assistant having some other, what about designations, right? That means all are come under, what about that, employee category. Not employee, persons category. So within the person, student is one person, one category, and uh, what about the faculty is one category, and lab assistant, the call is some HOD, principal, all are different different categories. Even watchmen or tunes, tunes also, what about that, one category. That guy having the different different fields. But there is so many common fields are common for all the people. In that case, see, all are and of the day, all are under come under person category, right? But within that student is one person, sorry, person object. Within that student is one category, faculty is one category, lab assistant one category, watchman is one category, tunes are the one category, helpers are one category. So in that case, we don't want to create student one object, faculty one object, lab assistant one object like that. Understand why? If you are creating multiple objects, Salesforce is a paper use. Paper use means how many objects, how many data you, you are utilized. Based on that, those guys are whatever charge. That is the first disadvantage. Second one is the performance. If you are creating more and more and more and objects, whatever that, the application performance will be decreased. So that's the reason as much as possible, you need to design your data model very less way. Okay, so that's the reason these people are introduced. What about that? record types so same object for example again mm -hmm. most of the most punch is so this is the one category what is the category students assuming that if possible you can try that students 
we need to capture the student information we need to capture the for example student having assuming that 20 fields okay next faculty 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 having 30 fields and admins that means administration department these people are having like uh, 22 fields and other workers something like helpers something okay other workers bus drivers and everything so these people these people are having like 10 fields why because those people are don't have qualifications if you observe student first name last name faculty first name and last name admin having also first name and last name workers also having the first name and last name that means these all four categories common fields are first name and last name student having email faculty having email admin having email but workers don't have email why because those guys are the uneducated maybe okay student having the phone number faculty having the phone number admin having the phone number workers having the phone number right so these are the common things so then how you can design you don't want to create student object faculty object admin object workers object you are creating one common generic word like uh, persons or something okay our employees are not employees actually student is not employee for example persons this is the object within that student 20 right assuming that the common fields are all the people common fields are eight or ten ten is a common field so first name last name email contact number address field and date of birth age these are the common fields so those common fields you need to create here these are the ten is a common field okay then the different different uh, fields are there for example student having the branch name and student having the he belongs to uh, which year first year or second year something and uh, specialization something faculty having the designation qualification experience something like that admin admin having the for example network administrator he is different qualification something workers don't have right so those different different what about the fields also you need to create here that means for example total 10 common fields and different different fields are again 10 total how many fields you need to create 20 so here 20 fields are there that 20 fields what about suitable for not all student fields are satisfied with these 20 fields faculty also within the 20 you need to pick that admin also within the 20 you need to pick that workers also within that 20 10 already there right now one object total 20 fields now you need to create the what about that the page layout of student page layout faculty page layout admin page layout worker page layout student page layout we required for example Oh, okay here for example is the i'm creating like uh, 26 so total 36 so now in the student page layout you need to what about that add only these 20 fields from here understand in the faculty page layout out of 36 30 fields are required right those 30 fields you need to uh, what about the add in your page layout same like it means out of 36 pick the 26 in that page layout like that now four page layouts are ready then you need to create the record type what is the record type student faculty admin workers four record types understand so first record type student if you are selecting the student assign the student record type to student page layout faculty to faculty page layout admin to admin page layout worker to worker layout so here we are not creating multiple objects for example 
that in this system this is the student management system right or college management uh, institute management system right so after six months or one year that what about that uh, the institute management guys have come to a picture hey we have one more category for example workers helpers or drivers or something like that we have one more category we need to capture that information as well so in the old approach what is the old approach you are creating the multiple objects you need to create one more object and that object is what about fix in your data model maybe may not be it is very difficult so for example in this approach in the record type approach you are creating one more what about that uh, page layout and create one more record type then navigating this so whatever data you want to capture you need to create multiple page layouts with multiple record types so single object handle multiple categories this is called what about that record type this is what we discussed earlier right okay now guys go to here okay so where is that patient in the patient see if you click on new what is happening in the back end if you click on the new button first it is checking whether it is going to the schema schema means object definition first whenever if you click on the new then guys ui is everybody knows but what is happening you need to understand what is happening in the back end system how it is understandable okay how it is searching so the path you need to what about that identify that you need to learn that path that is the skill that is the subject okay we said like hey that guy having this so much of subject why that guy having so many subject means so much of subject means that guy observe everything so this is everybody even uneducated people also click the new button then the screen is coming but what about our skill what is happening you need to explain internally what is happening that is the skill that is the subject understand so now click on new whenever you are click on new in the back end the system the system we have actually runtime engine okay i will explain not now so the system will be first going to the object definition which object it is patient okay so where is the patient this is the patient definition this is called schema okay then what it does check this object having record types are there or not where is go to the record type section yes record types are there but previously for example hospital record types are not there so in this case in this case for example doctor if you click on new then it is going to the what about that object schema and check whether record types are there or not in the doctor point of view there is no record type if you see in the doctor point of view whenever you are click on this new button it is going to the doctor schema then go to check record types are there or not is there no whenever there is no record type okay then go to the page layout what is the page layout doctor layout this is the default then it is open that page directly understand first whenever you are click on the new button the system simple the word is called i all told you yesterday or day before yesterday whenever you are write some what about that logic in the eta right once you are write the logic and click on the check uh, check box whatever check syntax at that time who will come to the picture compiler compiler come to the picture and check whether your syntax is correct or not if the syntax is correct then it is not throwing any message 
If the syntax is not correct, then it is through the one message. That message is called error. Then once, see guys, every programming language, every technology, this is one person, this is one person assuming that, okay? The first person we call is a, guys, I'm, I'm jumping into the different, different concepts whenever it is required, okay? This is the subject, guys, okay? You need to learn these concepts, okay? So everybody knows Salesforce, but you need to, what about the, see the Salesforce in the different angle, different way, then only you will survive, then only you will get the good jobs, okay? So this is the compiler. First, what happened? I'm writing some logic here. For example, this is the iter. We are just writing the, what about that formula field? We are writing the formula field here. If you click the check syntax, first, this guy come to the picture. Who is that guy? Compiler come to the picture. Okay? Check your syntax is correct or not. That means everything, the syntax, everything is uh, whatever, uh, aligned in the proper way or not. If everything good, then it is not throwing any messages. If any syntactical issue is there, then it is throwing one message. That message is called error. Right? We already discussed that. Once it is done, then it is hand over to this guy. Who is that guy? We know the word, but we don't know. Runtime engine. It is not an engine. It is not a motor engine. Okay. Runtime engine. Runtime engine means again, it is a one type of programming. One, one type of program which is designed by the respective technology people. For example, Java. Java people design the Java compiler and Java runtime engine. SAP, same. Salesforce. Salesforce people also designed internally one compiler. What about that? The compiler is not a tool, guys. It is a program. So, because of guys, if you remember, uh, I got the job around like 2013 in the um, salesforce.com directly. Because of this question, okay, those guys are interested more than 150 people. Because of this question, I got the job. So, why I told you, me, in the good companies, guys, those guys are not asking, guys, what is meant by object, what is meant by field, or what is meant by blah, blah, blah. So, simple. Those guys, sir, say that like this, okay? If you click on new, what is happening? So, for example, you are in the back end. So, the, the way of question asking, first of all, understand the question format. So, those people are asking, if you click on new, what is happening? What is happening? Okay, if the record types are there, record types are open. Otherwise, page layouts are there. But how? So, how, for example, if you are going from Hyderabad to Delhi, so, there is so many ways. So what is the path? For example, if you are going to, to the train, there is so many, what about that, uh, stops are there. You need to explain, uh, first of all, we are, this is the first stop, this is the second stop, this is the third stop, that one you required. Directly we are going to the Delhi, uh, from Hyderabad to Delhi, we are going to the train. That is not an answer. You need to explain uh, from Hyderabad to next stop this, next stop this. That is the subject. That means you have good idea about that path. Same like here also, so if you click on new, you need to explain internally you are there. Assuming that you are the person internally there, how you can analyze uh, what happened. First of all, it is going to the schema, then check the record types are there or not. If the record types are not there, then go to the page layout, open the default page layout. If the record types are there, then check that record types are active or not. If it is active, then what, what happened? Record types page is open. Then, whenever you are click on the record type, so who will do that? Who will check that? And, right? Who will check that? Who will check that means uh, this guy will be checking. Runtime engine. Okay? This guy will be checking. Runtime engine will be checking. Okay? These all those things actually. Compiler, just for example, um, compiler is a validator, guys. Okay? He is just whether whatever you are doing that is correct or not, he is just validated. Once everything good, that guy is hand over to all whatever we are doing, all those things to runtime engine. Runtime engine will be doing all those things. 
Understand? So, now, whenever you are creating the record or something, for example, you are entering the date of birth and click the save. Then runtime engine comes to the picture and go to the formula field and calculating the something and allocating some memory stuff and everything and get a result and update into the field. Who will do that? Runtime engine. For example, in that case, we have any issue. This guy also throwing one message. Hey, something is happened. For example, uh, in the whatever database level, we have only two bytes of memory. But here, once it is calculating, it is occupied four bytes of memory. Assuming that, that means there is no memory. In that case, this guy says that, hey, there is no memory. So that type of whatever the message this guy throwing. Who is that guy? Runtime engine. That is called exception. I will tell you in the programming, but as of now. Understand? So here, what about that? If you click on new, the runtime, why? Because this is already developed by someone who sales was already developed. That means internally code is there. Internally code is there. Who will run it? The runtime engine comes to the picture. When? Whenever you are click on the button, what happens? The runtime engine comes to the picture and it is not directly showing. It is first, it is going to the schema. Where is the schema? This is the schema. And check whether that schema, the patient schema having the, what about that, record types or not. Yes, record types are there. If it is record types are there, and again, check, what about that, whether those record types are active or not. Yes, active. Then, those record types, it is displayed. Understand? Now, once this guy click on that, okay? Then click on continue. Again, runtime engine comes to the picture. What, what that guy, is, the reception guy is selected inpatient. So who will get the inpatient related, uh, what about that page layout? Who will? Again, runtime engine. Runtime engine going to the schema and check, oh, inpatient related, what is the page layout? Inpatient related page layout is, we are already assigned, right? In the here, we are already assigned. So here, the next actually. So we are already assigned. So inpatient related page layout it is picking and display. So everything will manageable by runtime engine guy. Okay. So this is the story behind how the navigation is happening in the back end. Okay. But out of hundred, ninety nine point nine 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 percentage are. 99% of the people are avoid these things actually. That is the reason so many people are didn't get subject whenever any corona or any tsunami, whatever it is coming, our jobs are gone. If you have good skill, our people, our company people still, what about that? Uh, we are still surviving. Why? Because if you are, those people are didn't lose any persons guys. Out of 100 people, for example, corona is coming or some whatever the ration is coming. Out of 100, only 80% of the people jobs are gone. What about 20? Those 20 people required for the company. Why? Because company people having the so much of whatever the money. Okay. So your salary may be 1 lakh or 2 lakh per month. It is very easy, right? One year or two years. Why? Because per project, those guys are getting uh, whatever the close of the money. It is very easy to survive. What about that? Uh, those people are given the amount without work also. These 20 people, those people have put it in their end. Why? Because if those people are losing these guys, again, those guys are unable to recruit the same type of people. Understand? Why? Because in the IT, we have so much of fake. So that's the reason. Whenever you are learning anything, first of all, understand the what is happening in the back end. Understand the you can get the subject first, guys. So these things, everybody knows. If you see the video, what about that in the YouTube, this, uh, what is the page layout, so how to create the record types, it's already there, there is uh, thousands of videos are there. Understand? But you need to, what about that, uh, learn what is happening in the back end. So how it is navigating. So the system, you need to understand the system. Then only you can, you can get the good command. Understand? Okay, guys. Now, page layouts and record types are done. Uh, next. For example, guys, 
आउट पेशेंट ठीक है दिस इज द आउट पेशेंट वाई इट इज टेकिंग दिस मच ओह इट इज अ सिंगल कॉलम राइट ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन गाई कम टू द हॉस्पिटल ओके अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट गाई सो आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट सो द रिसेप्शन गाई द रिसेप्शन गाई एंटर दट गाई नेम इज देवा एंड जेंडर इज मे एंड कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर इज ब्ला 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 एंड दिस इज इज जनरल समथिंग आर न्यूरो आर समथिंग एनीथिंग इज गाई ओके क्रिएटिंग oh, But if you see in the doctor point of view, Peter is a doctor. How many patients are there? How many patients are there? Three, right? So now Peter, all the total patients are three. But this guy, so Peter opened in the real time, guys. In the real time, uh, doctor don't have those options. Actually, doctor having only tab option of doctor tab only. Okay. so that guy is open the doctor tab so within that doctor peter he is open so how many patients are there three patients this guy required 0010020004 something like that but that guy required what about that the name also this guy is want to see the patient name as well or patient uh, age as well okay for example some senior uh, citizens are there he will first he will be what about that finish that senior citizen then will something like that so in that case how he is able to see the patient name what he did in this situation open the record in the new tab 001 oh this guy name is for example some guru okay mail oh this guy name is guru then he want to see the 002 then what happen this guy name is johnny and mail oh this guy name is johnny like that guys that means every time he is open the particular record and see the name and a something it is waste of the time it is waste of the mouse clicks as a developer right so we need to give the feasible solution what is that you need to add whatever the remaining columns in the table but this is not a list view why list view means this is the list view mm. if you go to the patient this is list view why list of the records we are displaying but here under doctor we are displaying the data that means this is a parent record child record so child record data this is the child record table right you need to modify so if you want to modify the doctor record go to the edit layout or go to the force.com or go to the setup then you can what about that go open the page layout then whatever align whatever you want we already learned but what about i want to modify this one i want to modify what about that related list this is called related records right which related doctor related records so that's the reason we call it is a related list what is that related list this is a list guys but it is related to doctor so that's the that's the reason we call it is a related list it is a list so view list right list view this is related list why related it is related to peter understand so how we can modify the related list again we are able to see this table in the page layout so again go to the page layout so now come down come down come down so here see related list okay here this icon is remove if you want to remove remove it save it what happened that related list has gone okay 
So relate list has gone. But I don't want to delete. Why? Because doctor see able to see how many patients are allocated. So that's reason C. Fields buttons. Now see there is a section related list. Click on that. Which section? There are so many things are there, guys. But related content patients. Our side is patients. Drag it. See only related section related list one section is there drag it okay so this is what we are already discussed now here you want to add some columns which column is there here as of now serial number i want to add name and uh, blood group and uh, date of birth or age is fine so now here there is a setting icon properties icon click on that now see available page so within that serial number, then what do you require? Name, patient, name, then age, age is mandatory, right? And blood group, that's it, okay? Already age is there, right? The guy required not date of birth, actually age is, he is a senior citizen or kid or something. So here see short by, short by means if you want to display the column in the ascending order or descending order, I don't require, so okay, now see, okay, this is a sample data guys, not uh, 30,492, he is not an alien, okay, now save it, save, that's it, see, serial number, patient name, A, blood group. Now he don't want to open any record. Oh, 001 is a guru, his age is 35, blood group is O positive. Like that, you need to modify the related list as well. So now we are introducing one more new word is related list. Why related list? It is a list. Why related? It is related to Dr. Peter. Okay, now go to other, other doctor. John, see, already there. Why we are already modified the page layout. So all are using same page layout. So that's the reason it will be impact to the all the records. Understand? Now, for example, as per our common sense, can you tell me, is there any issue here? Please observe guys, in the business point of view, doctor point, you are the doctor. Okay, you are open this, whatever this screen. So you are the John. Okay, is there any issue here? In the screen? Sorry? Hospital. Doctor don't record a hospital information, right? So, for example, I am the person, I just open, okay, this this will be opened. So, this all the properties are required to the doctor. Which one is not required? And that's fine, created by last modified, okay, that's fine. Again? Again? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Forgettable the profile. Uh, so, for example, this record is created by the admin people. Right? So, for example, I am the doctor. I don't want to edit. Why? Because it is a, it is a record, only one time entity. Who created? Whenever the doctor is joined to the hospital, that guy is created. Who? The admin people. That means doctor not able to edit this record. That means we don't require edit button. We don't require delete button. We don't require clone button. We don't require sharing button. So these buttons are not required. And doctor not created any new patient. Who created? Whatever, ed, reception. So that means this guy only able to see. This guy only able to see, but not what about the edit the record, delete the record, clone the record, sharing the record and the new button. So edit, delete, clone, sharing, these are the, what about that, in the main page. Main page means the parent page, these buttons are there. But here new button is in the related list page. So for example, you, we are all discussed how to remove these buttons. But how to remove this button, new. Why? Because doctor, doctor will not create the patient record. Doctor is just able to see, right? So that means you need to remove the new patient. Edit, 
What is that? Come to the related list. Go to the properties. Here, see button section. This is the field set columns. This is the this is called accordion. Okay, button. Open that. Which button? New. I'm removing the new button gone. Now it is good. Understand? Like that, you need to remove the remaining as well button. These buttons we are already removed. Okay, you don't want to do that. So if you want to add the columns, if you want to delete the buttons, or if, for example, I want to again add the button, then go to the edit page layout, go to the properties and add it. How? Edit layout. Buttons, sorry, not here. This 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 section is belongs to your parent record. Parent record. This is the related list. See columns, buttons. Where is the button, guys? See here. New. Click on new. Then the button is added. Understand? But as of now, okay, I just added. Clear. So you need to manage the related list as well. Then come to here, patient. For example, this guy is a patient. Okay. So this guy visited to the hospital in the second time or third time. He is already whatever the permanent customer of the particular hospital. Okay. Every month or every ten days, he is visited to the hospital. That means he is related to cardio, na? Okay, any disease? I think cardio related is how many people are there? Where is the doctor John? Cardio Petra? No. Johna? Hmm. Okay. So he is a cardio patient, guys. Okay. Now, whenever that guy is visiting the hospital, he is not directly going to the particular doctor. Who is the doctor? Where is the doctor, guys? Okay, other. Oh, here. Uh, okay. So he is not directly going to the um, whatever the John, right? First, he visited to the again met to the whatever the reception guy. So, for example, this guy already having some uh, what you called uh, reports, the lab reports and everything. So we need to automate that. I'm not whatever that uh, send the file every time. If, for example, I'm forgot that. Okay. So that's the reason. Whenever this guy visits the hospital, every time I need to upload their documents, lab reports, and everything under this patient. That means we need one space to attach the files to the particular patient. So maybe file may be one or two or three or every month, for example, ten. So every month we need to add five more, five more, five more. That means so many files, right? That means we required what about that one object, right? You don't want to create that object. Why? Because Salesforce already provided one object. That object called attachment. What is that? Attachment is a standard object. So here, whenever you are creating any object. By default, attachment added as a child. Understand? So this is a patient. By default, attachment added as a child. Child means related list. It is already there. You just utilize it. Okay? So how? Edit layout. Related list. What is that? Notes and attachment. It is already there. We are not created. So now drag it. Now save it. See notes and attachments. So some notes are, for example, you are uh, that guy is visited to the hospital uh, yesterday, and today also some issues. Today also he wants to visit. So in that case, yesterday the hospital people are charging thousand rupees. Today it is not possible. Why? Because there is some gap, guys. I think within the ten days or seven days, again those people are not charging. So those things are we need to record here. So in that case, for example, new notes. Okay, some blah blah blah. Any notes? Hey, what happened, guys? Close the door. Sorry. Hmm. 
Yeah. Any notes, guys? So you want to create any notes regarding that patient? Hmm. What is the notes? Uh, bill pending issue. So this guy, uh, we need to recalculate the bill. So that is the notes. Okay. Save it. Now see, one record has been created. For example, this is only for hospital purpose. Those people are tracking. Now, file. If you want to add the file, choose file, lab report or anything, guys. So one text file or anything, okay? For example, one image, one text file. Attach file. Done. Files also attached. Like that. So all the reports will be available here. Now, whenever that guy takes the slot to the particular doctor, doctor already open. Who is the doctor? John. What is this? 006. John, see that? What about that? Uh, 006. He just opened whenever he's. Uh, oh, what is the report? So these are the reports. These are the notes, something, blah, blah, blah. Okay? He's. So it is a automated guys. We don't want to send every time our file and uh, this is my report, something like that. Already the information already there. Whenever directly you visit to the hospital, that guy already tracks whatever the previous reports or whatever the upcoming report and everything those people are stored here. So this is the automated, right? So this is called whatever related list of the files and attachments. So here, this data will be stored, which object? What is the object? What is the object, guys? Attachment. What is that? So here, attach file, right? The API name of the. So we are creating the hospital object, the patient object, same like Salesforce provided to store the files, like images or text files or doc file or any file. Okay. Those people are provided one object called whatever that. Attachment is an object. Why, 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 gone up? Okay. What is the object? Attachment. Okay. If you want, you can note down. Otherwise, in the coding, we are you. Just I'm introducing one by one, guys. So this is the total page layout. Okay. Now, page layout, record is done. Now. So as of now, we are done with the page layout and record types, guys. So now, Okay, one guy is coming. The reception, uh, so that guy is, the reception guy is entered the data. For example, unfortunately, that guy entered the data birth is like this. Like this. Is it possible? No, right? He's not a god, right? So it is not possible. A is 099. It's a future date. That means the data is not correct. We are the human beings, right? If you are going to the ATM, if you are forget the pin, we are trying to enter the wrong pins multiple times, right? So we are the human beings. Okay. So maybe that guy is entered the wrong data. Okay. So system will allow. Why? Data birth is wrong. It's a future date. It is not possible. It is not possible, right? So, it is not possible. So that's the reason whenever we are enter the data, first you need to identify which data is valid or not. For example, name, you don't want to identify that, whatever the validate that. Why? Name may be anything. Okay. But gender, maybe male or female. Date of birth. Date of birth must be what about that? Today or less than. That means past date, not future date. Today maybe he is a newborn baby. Right? Today is possible. But what about that? Tomorrow not possible. Right? That means you need to, whenever you are click on enter the date and click on the save button, you need to validate the what about the data. Which data? 
date of birth. So whenever you are entering the data, so whenever I click on the A date, now if you click on the save, first you need to identify which data you need to validate it. So here in this case, uh, what about that? Uh, data birth is fine, guys. For us, data birth is fine. So data birth must be today or past date, not future date. You need to validate that. If that condition is satisfied, that means whatever that guy is entered the data, the date must be today or past date, then you can allow. Otherwise, you can inform to the user. That means here reception guy. You can, hey, you were entered the wrong date of birth. Can you please recheck again? You need to, what about that, inform through message. How system tells to us? Some message. Understand? So you need to implement that type of feature. Why? Because it is required. Why? Because these are wrong data. Right? Maybe if you are not validated, I think in our database, there is so many lakhs of records will be made. Right? So that's the reason you need to validate the data we have one feature called the sales was provided one feature called validation rules for example one more example assuming that this is the bank account assume that this is the bank account we are entered all the data so account number account number is assuming that it is related to hdfc bank assuming that account number may be 10 characters assuming that so that guy is entered eight characters then it is a wrong data that guy entered 11 characters it is a wrong data right that means in this case you need to validate account number understand so before saving the data so as a manual we are entering the data but if you click on the save you need to add some validation rules okay so whatever you record in this case account number must be 10 characters why because hdfc account may be 10 characters assume that it is a 10 characters if that guy is entered only 10 characters then only you can allow we need to tell them to the system hey whenever the user entered the 10 characters of the account number then only you can save it otherwise Go whatever display one message your account number is invalid okay same like here what is that whenever the reception guy entered the correct data that means today date of birth or past date of birth then you can allow otherwise don't allow so we need to validate your data for that purpose what is the concept validation rules validation rules how so the first example is first checking what about that date of birth so can you tell me in the normal way what is the field guys this is the field forget about the technology now come to the academic years uh, what is that date of birth tell me date of birth what is the condition guys in the maths in the maths how to do the condition Date of birth? Ah, date of birth? Then, what is the operator? Minus, ah? Why minus? Date of birth. So, de you need to validate date of birth must be today or past date. Not future date. How you can uh, put in the paper? So, in the math, for, okay, in the math, in the, for example, you need to add the form, some formula. Okay, in the math, in the on the paper, how to write that logic? Data but greater than zero now. Ah, uh, data but greater than current data. Is it correct? Yeah, Ramada, it is good. Data but for example, current date greater than data but that means it is a future date. What is that? Less than or equal to. So that means data birth less than or equal to current data. Then you can allow. That means you can save it. 
so what i will do date of birth but we need to validate right date of birth greater than current date that means it is a future date in that case i need to send one message what is the message invalid date of but please recheck again understand when data but greater than current date that means it is a future date whenever it is future date then we are sending the message if it is not future date i am not sending the message clear just you can copy paste the same logic in our validation rules guys that's it understand so already current date current date we have a function what is the function we are already using what is the function guys in the age we are using one formula what is that current current data current date is there current date is today today is a current date okay yeah so here instead of current date we are using one function what is that today okay that means date of birth greater than today that means greater date of birth is a future then i need to send the message what is the message this is the message so now where to add if you, you know the logic where to add already those people are provided the editor guys just copy paste that. that's it okay first of all understand don't directly jump into the sales force you can put it on the paper okay in the paper you need to write the logic oh this is the apply your academic knowledge guys so it is very 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 helpful so that's the reason i told you every time whenever you are writing any logic what about how we learn in the academic okay this is uh, data but greater than today then send the message which is on top of now you need to put this same thing in our salesforce salesforce providing one option what is that validation rules how to find out the validation rules here right here right go to see here what is that view validation rules otherwise go to the schema we are covered one by one sections guys remember first we covered this one second we covered standard fields third we covered custom fields and relationship now uh, fourth we covered page layout then we covered record types now we covered what is that validation rules why we are using validation rules before we are saving the data you need to valid you need to validate whether it is correct or not if it is a correct then only you can allow if it is not correct then you can send the message that is the purpose of validation rules. okay click on new what is the validation which field you need to validate that data birth so that's the reason dob just the name data birth validation okay active description no same editor guys same screen the formula field whatever the screen we are already saw same screen whatever the logic data birth greater than today then send the message right that means insert field you don't want to write anything which field data birth what is the operator greater than what is the field advanced functions are there what is that t t t today that's it so if it is true first of all check the syntax who will come to the picture who check the syntax compiler click that okay no errors found so compiler already gave the approval why there is no errors then data birth greater than today that means it is a future date then error message add the error message what is the error message 
invalid date of birth please recheck please recheck that's it okay please recheck now this message related to our patient record way to display for example see i'm just saving it we'll see so now please remember here it is a active otherwise it should not work okay now see see guys again i will show you date of birth validation rule name is a validation rule name is a date of birth validation what is the formula date of birth greater than today then what is the message if it is a true that means it is a future date then we are sending one message okay if it is a false we are not sending message that means it is saved now is the future right what happened error invalid data review all error message below correct your data what is that invalid data but please check the message is coming then the reception guy is alert oh something happened what is that data but then she is going to the data but and check it understand for example guys in this case assuming that whatever the maximum limit of the fields guys 500 assuming that in this object 500 fields are there we have around like 30 validations are there understand in that case all the messages you can display here it is very confused what about the way uh, that error message belongs to which field we are unable to find why because 500 fields are there you need to check everything it is very what about that so much of effort so that's the reason my intention should be this error belongs to which field which field guys date of birth so under date of birth i am displaying the error message then it is the end user easy line oh here message is there that means this error message belongs to this field i need to configure like that very simple here edit see here in the below error location top of the page now field click on that then it is asking which field which field data but now this error message instead of the whatever the top of the page now this error message display on the field which field for example you are creating one more validation then that validation message you need to add wherever you want now see save it right so for example you have 30 validation 30 related error that all 30 are failed then 30 validation rules are coming the validation message is coming under the field this is more efficient compare with the top of the page this is called validation size one more example what is that in the uh, where uh, again this object what is that account number must be 10 or i don't want to enter 10 account number must be five characters okay account number must be five so that means first put the paper what about the field account number this is the field account number must be what about that five characters either numbers or something okay account number must be five that means if it is not five then you can send the message that means what about that account number not equal to five account number not equal to five then send the message what is the message invalid account number please recheck that is up to you whatever the message you want whatever that what is the validation rule account number not equal to 5 then you can add that okay see guys now go to the account but account is not a custom object we are not created who created this so that means it is a standard so now how to go to the schema for example here see validation rules 
go there. This UI is completely different. One by one section is coming, not like this. See here. Custom objects all are come under one screen. That's the only difference. Custom objects, field, standard fields, validation, page layout, record types, all are come under one screen. But in the standard objects, one by one is coming. Okay, so that is the only difference. See, here we are not getting the fields, we are not getting the page layouts and everything. Only validation rules are coming. That is the only difference, guys, the UI by. Now click on new. What is the rule name? Account number validation. Okay. Uh, what is that? Insert field account. Where is the account number? Account number. Insert. Now not equal to. Where is that? Where is the not? It's not there, right? Uh, not equal to. Not equal to what? Five. If it is not equal to five, then we'll see. Check the syntax. What is that? Incorrect parameter type of, for operator not equal to. Expected text receiving number. That means not equal to. This is the five, right? This is the five, right? So this is the number, guys. For example, two, five, three, something like that. For example, 10,000 is a five characters, huh? 10,000 five characters. So assuming that five, four, six, seven, one. That means we know whatever the system is, whatever the calculating this one as one, two, three, four, five. System, whatever the display, this one as whatever that number. 5,000, sorry, 54,671. So here, remember, where is that? Yeah. 54,651 something, not equal to five. That means both are whatever that, right? And also account number, this account number, see the data type of the account number. It's not a number, see? Where is the account number? Account number is a text. Account number is a text. We are comparing, we are comparing text with the file. Understand? So first and also what about our requirement guys? Our requirement is the length of the number. The length of the number must be five. That means we are entering the how many digits? Five digits you must enter. Out of five, for example, you are under four, you need to get the error. If you are under the six, you need to get the error. You must enter the five, what about that character? That means first you need to calculate the length first. Understand? So how to calculate the length? Understand guys, for example, I'm entering this guy, this guy, this one. Five, four, six, five. What is the length? Five. For example, this guy is entered, blah, 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 blah. What is the length? Uh, three, three, eight. Whenever that means first you need to, you need to find out the length first. The entering digits length, how many characters you are entered. So here, forget about that. Now check that length. Yes, length. See length of text. Already account number is a text type. Length of text written, the number of characters in the text string. That means how many characters you are entered, the length it is calculated. Which function? Length function. Understand? So now, insert. So text, which text? Account number is a text. Now what happened, guys? Length is a number. Account number, for example, I am entering five digit number. Then length of that overall we are getting five. For example, I'm entering this data. Then length of this text. Length of this text is we are getting eight. 
Why? Why eight? We are calculating the length. Now you can compare not equal to what is that? Five. In the left side, it is a length. Length means it is a number. Right side also compare with the number. Length of account number. So I am entering the 10 digit number. That means length of the account number is 10. 10 not equal to 5. It is a whatever the wrong. Right? So hmm. now see what happened. No error form. That means if not equal to 5. I am entering the 10, then 5, not equal to, both are not equal, that means it is true. Whenever it is true, I am sending the one message. What is the message? Invalid account number, please recheck again. Okay, now where do you want to display this message? Field. Which field? Account number. That's it. Okay, so account number validation, length, account number not equal to 5. If it is not equal to 5, we are sending the message. If it is a 5, we are not sending the error message. Correct? Now come to here. Sorry, account name, right? For example, account name is Geo. Now account number is this is the account number. How many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 means 9 not equal to 5. True. Whenever it is true, sending the error message. See? Invalid account number, please recheck again. Why? It is not 5. For example, that is the standard field, Jyoti. How you can change the data type? Now, how many? So now, There is no error. For example, there is one question, guys. One of the guys asking. For example, account number is a what is the type of the account number? Text. So that's the reason already length is supported text field. So length of text. Then we are getting the length of the how many characters? For example, account number is a number. Account number is a not text. Then length is supported only text field. But account number is a number field. Length of number is not supported. Then what we will do? Understand? I will tell you again. See guys. First here, come to length. What is that? Length of text. That means for length function, if you are passing the text, then only it is written the character count. Length function, if you are passing the text type of data, text type of field, then only we are getting the length. For example, account number. What is the account number in this case? Account number is a text. So we are passing the length of account number. That means length of text, text field. Then we are getting the length. For example, this is the number, number field. Account number is a number field, data type. Length of number, not supported. Why? Length is supported only text. Then what we will do? Oh, in that, no, no, no. We require the count, right? The count number we get, get. So then what we will do, guys? Simple. It is a number, right? Assuming that it is a number. Number, you need to convert the number to text. How to convert? See, for example, here, there is a, that's the reason you need to see text, value, text of value, that means text of account number, it is come to the text, then length of text of account number, 
Understand? So number will be converted into text. You can pass like this, guys. Simple. This is the account number is a, what about that? Number, assuming that account number is a number. Then length of, first you need to, you need to get text. Text of which field? Text of which field? Sorry. Text of, no, 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 no. First of all, you need to convert the number. Now, account number is a number field. Number value will be converting to text. Now, text is coming. All the length is support the text. That means, out of here, you need to add length. That's it. Text. What is the text? The entire thing is text. That's it. It is a text. Why? Because it is a number, guy. sorry. Uh, originally, it is a uh, text. So, that's the reason. So, this is the number. Number will be changing to text. That text, it is getting the text length. Now, add that not equal to 5 something. Understand? So, here, your skill is how efficiently you can utilize this function. There is no direct function. Some cases, you need to utilize whatever is nested function like this one function within that another function understand guys okay i think that's it guys uh guys still so many people are get didn't get what about that uh, document so many people are saying that but you need to i already talked to who's that guy uh sham sir he's sending something but uh, Meanwhile, again, you need to connect with the Sham sir, guys. Why? Because those people are didn't send the email IDs, your email IDs. I have only one email ID. Yesterday, I got it. Who is that guy? I told you. Uh, Sham sir, Sham, Sham, Sham. Only one guy. Who is that? Yanamala Suresh, 157. This is what I got yesterday. Apart from that, I didn't get any email IDs. Who is that guy? Chandani, you know already uh, Salesforce? Better. Sir, why, uh, why you are not explaining the concept in lightning? We are in the, we are in the baby bonds actually. We are just a baby boy or girl. Huh? You guys are asking like, uh, what about that, after 80 years of the old guy experience. Huh? I told you, right, Chandani, I told you, what is that? There is some concept. First, if you are go to the my starting classes, I explained the pattern, what we covered first, what we covered next, what we covered onwards. Okay, go to the starting demo videos. It is a free link. Uh, some, if you are requesting those people, again, those people are sending that, then you have the idea. Okay. Raghav, please give that ask for practice. These are the practice guys, you can analyze it, okay? You can analyze, you can create the student management system. Then apply the same concept in the student management system. Record types. I all told you, student management system, what is the record type? Student, what about that? Faculty, pun, admin, something like that. Apply the student. For example, student data path is there. Apply the validation. Again, what about that? Remaining people. So for example, phone number. Phone number must be 10 characters. Apply the validation. Okay. Don't ask me the uh, task, guys. You can apply. That's the reason I told you. Uh, Rama Devi, can you please share yesterday recording? Guys, I told you, recording, I don't have access. You can ask to the Shyam sir. Okay. Even me also don't have access. Ramesh, your mail ID didn't get as of now. You can call to Shyam sir. So lightning is a very last concept, guys. Okay, email validation like we go strong. Okay, can I create a field dependence on lookup field? No, field dependence is not possible. There is one use case I will explain you morally in the field whatever the lookups. How can I connect some sir? I already shared the number, right? I will again. Where is that? 
एट टू फोर सेवन सिक्स जीरो डबल वन फाइव सेवन गाइज वेन एवर यू आर कनेक्टिंग टू द श्याम सर सर कैन यू प्लीज डिड यू सेंड माई मेल एड टू द अशोक सर आर नाट इफ दैट गाइज ये आई सेंड देन यू कैन आस्क मी ओके I have a list. I already show you. Within the list, those guys are updated. So based on the list, I am give the access. Without their approval, I don't have any access to give the document access. Videos completely in their end. I don't have any access for videos. Okay, guys. Thank you. Yeah, one second.